One night in 1910, the Carver family jolted awake to the sound of footsteps on the roof. They froze in fear as Mother Annie entered the room and whispered, Do not make a sound. Stay very still. Spencer, Nebraska was a tiny town in those days, and the Carver kids were crammed into the back room of a rundown house in the low-rent section of town. Father Orley was away, so it was up to Mother Annie to figure out what to do and for 12-year-old Susie to make sure her six younger siblings stayed quiet. The footsteps got louder. Was somebody dancing a jig up there on the roof? And were those war cries coming from up there? Stealthily, Mother Annie tiptoed to the door. She was barefoot and in her nightgown. She reached for the shotgun hanging next to the door, cocked the hammer back with a steady hand. Her heart pounded, but her grip was firm. With a practice aim, she pointed directly at the clatter above. She squeezed the trigger, the blast echoing through the night as Buckshot fired into the shadows. The jig was up. The war hoops stopped, and soon the family could see a lantern, the light sailing across the yard and down the road. Several days later, they heard a rumor that someone visited the doctor to have buckshot removed from a limb. That was one of my bedtime stories growing up. I always wondered if it was true, because Dad was an honest fellow, but somebody could have told him a tall tale. Recently, I found a news article from the Spencer Advocate that says the town council has voted to refer a matter reported by Mrs. Carver to the chief of police. It doesn't describe the matter in detail, but it does say she reported something. It's the correct town, it's the correct time period, and the communication came from Grandma, not Grandpa, who was out of town. Now, this doesn't mean that everything happened as described in my bedtime story, but it does suggest that something happened. I went poking around online to find out more about shotguns of that time period. Would a poor farmer in rural Nebraska own a firearm capable of shooting through a roof? It appears Grandma could have been using either a single or double barrel shotgun, but a 12-gauge single barrel break-action farmer's shotgun is suggested as the affordable choice. And it also appears that her roof might have been pretty thin. Make do perhaps out of wood shingles, so shooting through it with a shotgun isn't out of the question. My buddy, Chat GPT, thinks it's possible. Who knows, but it makes a good story. Honestly, it sounds like a mixture of fact and fiction, turned into a really great family legend. This article was the first one I found about my grandparents. Since then, more papers have been digitized, including historical Nebraska papers in the area where my grandparents lived back in the early 1900s. I had been researching my father's family during the years surrounding 1912 because there was a fire, there were accusations of blackmail, and then there was the arrest of a neighbor in connection with an incident involving dad's older sister, Susie. So when these newspaper articles began to surface, I was a happy camper. I still don't know everything that happened to Susie and the family. I'm still discovering things, but I decided to start telling her story anyway. Start talking and see what happens. Two of my cousins have been helping me, Mel and Kate, and a bunch of other cousins have jumped in to add suggestions and ideas and things that they know. I don't know if I'll ever turn it into a finished product or if it will be up to somebody in a future generation to do that. I don't think it's important right now, but we will be coming back to it soon with a lot of information from the community sections of rural newspapers in Holt County, Nebraska. And believe me, Facebook's got nothing on the community sections of those papers. To catch up on the Susie situation, you can watch all the old videos or read all the old blog posts. I'll put a link down in the comments below. Alternatively, I've written a new blog post that's a fast-track summary. just tells you everything you need to know all in one place that'll just get you all caught up. That will be listed below as well. Talk with you again soon.